Hey Joe, tell me about yourself. Uh, my name is Joe Bamberg. I'm a 2L at Jones School of Law where I'm pursuing a career in property, estate planning and wills and trusts. I'm originally from St. Joseph, Louisiana and I got my undergrad uh, at ULM for political science. All right, tell me about uh, what you've been doing here for us at Appleseed. Uh, I've worked with uh, our senior fellow, Craig Babb, on the Air Property Project, which is basically we assisted people with problems that are associated with dying and tested. I also uh, helped advocate for the uh, Uniform Partition of Air's Property Act, which uh, would, re re uh, would reform other uh, states' partition laws. Uh, I worked on the Civil Legal Service Funding Project, which uh, would increase funding for Legal Services Alabama. Uh, they offer free legal services to uh, low and no income families who uh, need help. Uh, I also worked on the Constitutional Reform Project, which uh, is basically uh, spearheading the effort to update our state constitution here in Alabama, which is very old, and uh, help to uh, decentralize some of that power and give it back to the uh, the local governments. Uh, also helped with uh, our executive director, John Pickens, with a uh, pardon project that he's been working on to uh, assist a local lady uh, through the pardon process. Um, we also held a booth at River Regions Connect for voters' rights restorations and expungements. And I uh, also helped you with uh, plenty of little projects that needed uh, an intern's touch. Tell me uh, something that you've done that uh, was exciting or something interesting that you learned. Uh, probably the coolest things that I've done this summer were the, uh, the booth for River Agents Connect, but uh, also uh, we helped a family out of uh, Georgia with some property that they had here in Alabama. Uh, we basically, through that process, we assisted them with gathering a uh, family tree together with what information they would need when they went and met with a lawyer. Uh, once they got that together, we uh, coached them on some certain different things that they may possibly want to do to preserve that once it's actually taken care of. Uh, such things as like uh, setting up cor corporation with the property or something like that, uh, as opposed to just getting the property untangled and then just leaving it and having someone else die later on with no will and it would just start over. Uh, once we did that, we met them about halfway in Phoenix City, and uh, that was probably the most interesting part was just getting to sit down with them with the lawyer. Uh, it was really cool seeing what Craig and I had discussed in action, but also um, just to see the lawyer himself in action uh, kind of just gave me a little bit of a look into the future of what I would like to do. Uh, because he was really efficient, cut through everything he didn't need, uh, gave them little shortcuts uh, for information they weren't able to find themselves, and that was just kind of cool to see. Uh, plus, I mean, we, we our process of helping them get ready uh, saved them some money in the long run because their lawyer was not going to have to handle that for them. So uh, we got to save them some money on top of that. The uh, River Regions Connect booth was um, for voters' rights restoration and expungement. And uh, we really didn't get to help too many people. Uh, there weren't a lot of people that needed our services, but uh, it was really cool just to be there and see the, the event itself. It was a big, uh, big collection of free services offered to homeless and really no income people that uh, were able to show up that day. Uh, people got legal services, help, uh, I think healthcare, uh, eye exams, haircuts, you name it, they got it also got free lunch. Uh, it was really cool to just to see that in action. We did get to help a very select few people, but um, you know, that wasn't the biggest part for me. Okay, tell me about uh, one aspect of the work that you're gonna be able to keep doing or something that'll help you be a better attorney going forward. Uh, probably the biggest thing that I'm taking from Appleseed is uh, that my eyes have been open to like, places in the law where it would seem like, oh yeah, this is a reasonable law, just completely justice, it's gonna affect everybody different, or everybody the same, and then uh, when someone enforces it, it, it looks differently when it's used, when somebody in power has it, it's used differently. 
uh, regular partition laws which are set up to allow someone to um, exit a the, uh, the their property uh, disputes. Those are used by corporations every day to uh, exploit the legal system to take properties that could be worth millions for 20% of their fair market value uh, from families that just haven't had the time to sell it or couldn't get it sold. Um, with uh, the part with the, the pardon, I saw you know people are guaranteed a right to. Um, an attorney, but uh, the word efficient or effective is pretty loose. Um, it was actually a really horrifying little uh, story from, from our pardon project. And um, I mean, really, I just got to work on a wide variety of issues as well to uh, really just broaden me out in the long run. Uh, I, I'd have to say that that's going to be the best thing that I'm taking away from this. Well, we want to thank you so much for all that you've done, and uh, we know that you're going to continue to do some great work. So thanks, Joe. Absolutely.